Hi there, welcome to QA Box Fix Test. Whenever we have to test a web application, we first have to open a web browser. Then we launch our application within browser, which will open up this kind of web page. And on such web pages, we have these web elements with which we interact. So can I say I can broadly categorize uh, this whole process into uh, three uh, sections. First one is the browser itself. Second one is the web page and third is these elements. In this video, we are going to cover the browser object and when I'm saying browser object, I'm referring to uh, browser global object, which is window and to access that open your console and just type window hit enter. Open this object. This object contains methods like reload, navigate back and forward and it also contains this URL information. Let me show you. Let's open this history. Open this prototype. You have go back, forward and go methods. These methods are used for navigation. Let's open location. You have hash which is this value. You have host which is the domain information. Then you have the protocol HTTPS. You also have this reload method inside this location object. This is to reload the web page. Then you have this local storage and session storage. Where can you find this local storage and session storage? Open the application. Herein you have this local storage and session storage. I have already exported this project. So you can download this project from this link. I'll also paste the link in the description of this video. So you see there are a lot of properties and methods available within the window object, but I'm going to cover only those methods and properties against which we have a respective command available at the global Psi object in Cypress. So let's see those commands. Broadly, I have divided this whole thing into four sections URI properties, page reload, page navigation, and storage. So, for example, window.location.hash through this, you can see the hash value of the URL. And in Cypress, we have this cy.hash, and so on. Now, you might be wondering if you have all these direct commands, then why would you like to go this route? I'll give you one example. You want to programmatically login into your application. In some applications, when you do the login, server sends back a token, and that token is stored into the local storage or in the session storage. Any subsequent request would first check whether the token is there in the local storage or session storage or not. If the token is there, then no authentication API call would be made. In Cypress, there is just one command which is cy.clear local storage and that commands clear out the local storage. So if you have to programmatically log in into your application, you need to know this. So in the interest of time, what I have done is I have deleted the examples folder and I have created this spec. So I said there are four sections. So in here there are eight test cases, four test cases for the Windows object and four test cases for the CY test command. I have grabbed the URL and divided that into two sections. In cypress.json, I have pasted in the base URL and I have created this before method. And in that we have the cy.visit and I've added this hash part of the URL. To get hold of window object in Cypress, you have to say cy.window. Hover over this and you see this is going to yield cypress.aut window object. So in the previous video, I mentioned it's better to use should over then because then you get access to the readability and timeout in here. So inside should, I'm going to use fat arrow syntax because I don't need to use this, so I'm fine that way. So let's call that object which is yielded from the previous object as win. 
and create a callback. So now I can access that location using window dot location. Let us save that within a constant and let's call it loc. Now let's write our assertion using expect and we are going to use expect to be equal. So here we say loc dot hash and let's grab this value from the web application. So I'm going to copy this and at times this hash changes. So let us see uh, what is the hash that is being generated here. So you have this hash in here. So let us grab this. Let us run this once to see if everything works. Okay, so our assertion is passed. Now let's do the same for other URI properties as well. Okay, so I have grabbed all these values from the browser. Let us save this and run it. Okay, so everything is being passed. So, how to do the same using direct Cypress command? This is our test case. So, this time let's use the only keyword, and that way is only this would be run. And the way you are going to do is so for hash, you have this command cy.hash, like I mentioned, and for others, you have cy.location, and inside that, you have to pass in those things so you have host let us uh, paste it two more times this is your path name okay so i have entered in, in these values let's save it and head back to the browser okay so everything is being passed and you see now this time it is cy test command uri properties so the next one is page reload let us apply only for this and let me grab this thing because I need to work on Windows object. And in here we say win dot location dot reload. And this is a method. Let's invoke this and we have to quickly move there. Let's see. So it is page reload. And to prove it, let us go in here in the console and all we have to do is we say window dot location dot reload and now you would see that once we reload this page this console would be cleared out and you would also see that this will uh, start spinning let me hit enter so you could see this is spinning and now this is also clear and to do this using sci object all you have to do is you have to say cy dot reload that's it let us apply the only okay so our test case is passed next is page navigation so let us grab this and now let's understand the test that we are going to perform. I'm going to first click on sign up and then I'll go back and verify this text. Then I'll go forward and verify this heaven account. So let's do that. So to identify the sign up button, I'm going to use the command contains because I'm going to find that element using its text. Sign Now the next thing that we have to do is we have to go back to say win dot history dot back. Okay, so let us first do the same in here. We say window dot history dot back. Okay, let's see what will happen. So we are now on the sign in page. If I have to go forward, the command is forward. I hit enter. Now I'm on the sign up page. There is one more command which is go. So we first have to go back. So let's. So inside this command, 
you get you pass minus one so now we are on the sign in if we have to go forward you have to use one in here all right so these are our commands so first we have to click on the sign up button so i'm going to find that button using the com command contains because i'm using its text here and then we have to click on it now in here you have to say win dot history dot back okay now you have to test that once you are on the sign in page you should have this need an account text so let me quickly write that cy dot contains and we are going to assert this using should and we are say, going to say be visible so now we have to go forward and we are going to say forward and once we are on the sign up page we'll see this text have an account and we can also use the other way we can use this so we can say go and then minus one and herein we say one let me save this and our test would be re-executed and now everything is passed great so now let's do the same using direct cy command so let me quickly grab this thing here and this is our test case so let's apply the only in here so here we say cy dot go and in here we say back and remember you can also use cy dot go and in here you pass minus one same way you copy this move this and here you say forward or you could also say cy dot go one let me save this quickly open the test runner and it's passed and you see this is test command page navigation great so last is storage so the way you are going to work on that is let me grab this but there's one very important uh, thing that you have to understand first Session storage is destroyed once the user closes the browser, whereas local storage stores data with no expiration date. So let us first see the storage in the browser. We say window dot local storage hit enter. You see this object now, and in here you have this prototype, and under that you have this very important method get item and set item. You also have remove item. Okay, so let's check the length of the local storage first so now the way we are going to do is we are going to write our expect type assertion so let me just copy this and in here we say window dot local storage dot length and it shows us zero so let me run this once so this is working fine what we are going to do is we are going to get and set some things into uh, local storage so the way you are going to do is you're going to say when dot local storage dot set item so with the help of intelligence you can see you have to pass in Two arguments first one is a string uh, which is the key name second one is the value which is also string so let me uh, give uh, the key name as name and in here I say QA box let's now I have to escape 
this apostrophe so i use backslash now this is set now let's uh, write an assertion on that and the way we are going to do that is we're going to use expect but this time we are going to say window dot local storage dot get item and in here you just have to pass in the key name so the name of the key is name and it should be equal to this let's see so let me quickly save this go here and yeah it's passed let us check whether it's being set properly yes it's set here as well great so you can do the same with the uh, session storage as well so i'm skipping that part because uh, the logic is very much the same all you have to do is change this local storage to session storage now let's uh, see that clear command so we have cy dot clear local storage this is the method available at the global sci object important is this intelligence let's read this clear data in local storage cypress automatically runs this command before every test to prevent state from being shared across test cases you should not need to use this command unless you are using it to clear local storage inside a single test okay so now if i run this see what will happen is this is gone from here okay so i hope uh, you like this thank you so much